Stressful is how a suburban mom describes putting her special needs son on a school bus every day. Drivers honk and drive around the park bus, even though his wheelchair is in plain sight. That is until one police officer got involved. Tonight, Dana Kozloff explains only on two. It's been a mere month since Teresa Boria's six-year-old son, Johnny, who has cerebral palsy, began riding a school bus. Okay, this is coming down. His bus now has a police escort. And I'm like, oh, I love this. I go, this is great. This gives me no anxiety today. River Grove officer Tony Ikes is the patrolman behind the wheel. He drove in after another man drove around Johnny's bus this week. So our chief asked if we can go out and follow the, the bus around just to make sure everything was okay. He tails the bus or parks nearby and watches. Absolutely makes a difference. And if that's not enough. And he caught somebody at the next stop breaking law. He writes a ticket. I've been doing this for 19 years and this is one of my main tickets that I have written. School bus safety has been top of mind for many this week after a driver in Indiana drove past a stopped bus and killed three siblings. So efforts here. And guess what's behind Johnny again? The police. Leave Teresa Boria quite simply grateful. Even if it's every other day or something just so they can show people, hey, we're here. We're following, we're checking up. It shows that they care. Officer Ikes recognizes not all police departments have the manpower to be able to assign patrols to school bus routes, his included. But he plans to tail that bus as often as he can. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Yeah, you know, historically, everybody always stops for the bus, and it seems like lately people are completely disregarding the law. What's going on there? Well, you know, no one knows. I mean, one theory, everybody's in a rush, so they should mm -hmm. slow right. down. Got to slow down a little Good bit. Effort. Yeah.